So old Joe Biden, who's stepping down, won't endorse Kamala Harris. And it got me thinking, that could mean one of two things. That could either mean that he thinks she sucks, or he really wasn't about black folks. But like, remember, he told Cardi B, Joe for Joey B, but he says, you ain't black if you don't vote for me. But where's his catchphrases? Where's his Bill Clinton catchphrases? Where's his Donald Trump? I done done so much for African-Americans and so on. Where's that besides the crime bill he's done? Now, Joe Biden is somebody that I always thought of as a rockhead. He's one of them construction hard hat dudes that because of Obama, he got hooked up and he got probably the, the greatest token position. Let me explain when I say this. Trump sucks and racist and is trash and has no business. He should be locked up. He has no business even being for, bring forth. But that's not the, the, the topic here. Because of his arrogance and his uh, whackness as a leader and with the pandemic, he brought all on himself. So anyway, let's get to this, shall we? Joe Biden, though, got a token hookup for the position. But he came up very small. And he didn't give enough reparation checks. Even, I mean, he didn't come up with reparations, but he didn't give enough pandemic checks, but he should come up with reparations. But Kamala Harris, what is her role? I know she's the wheel of fortune of race when it's convenient, but really, he to me, he's either thinking she's too weak sauce for the job. She's kind of like Vanna White. Vanna White can turn them turn them letters on the wheel of fortune. She's not supposed to go to take Pat Sajak's job. So basically, she ain't good enough to get the gig. She can get out there and Tootsie Roll, you know, and Cabbage Patch and get low, drop it low, but she ain't meant to get the gig. So we're getting live memo. Or he really didn't care about black folks to begin with, which I think there's a combination of both. I don't know. None of them care about black folk enough because they never talk about nothing for his legislation. They just give you a lot of hot air and lip. But in his case, interestingly, this woman who is of color, when she feels like it on Tuesday, the Becky with the good hair moment, ain't getting no endorsement. And she's like, well, I don't need his endorsement. You would. Let me say why it's important to have the endorsement. Let me take you back to 20, 2000. Man named Al Gore, who distanced himself from Bill Clinton. And his election was stolen by George W. Bush Jr. That was a steal. This Trump mess was not a steal. But that was a steal because Florida was called for Al Gore. Now, he didn't win Arkansas. Imagine if he had played nice with Bill Clinton. He thought he could do it without him. Now, that was smug and arrogance that backfired. No endorsement. So if you're a VP in a successful campaign, success is winning. What's it say about you? When you don't get endorsed. But we know that Carmela is a kept chick. We know she's wheel of racial fortunes. And whatever she needs to be. She is to be. She's for them streets. We know how she got down. We know Willie Brown. We know. And it says a lot. That this man won't even. Endorse you. He don't think much of you. He gonna show you his white side. No matter what. Even when he's going out the door. And he's senile. He's going to be belligerent and act like, oh. And they said, well, uh, will you, will you give Kizzy a hookup? No. Master says no. So no matter what, you ain't in like you think you in. That's the reality of this in America with three Ks. So Kamala Harris, you got your Negro wake up call. You get no love, no hookup, no roll of the dice. Please do like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share the video if you like, and please hit that membership, but donation. I will get your request videos out to you. We will get to working on it. The best is yet to come. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay up. I'm out. Peace.